Christmas. Are you sure you want to know? What you talking about, Nash? Check it out. What the hell was that? It's called a transition. It's just a sound to let you know that I'm about to talk for three minutes. Oh. Basically, Christmas is a celebration of the winter solstice. Solstice? The solstice is an instant in time where the planet experiences its shortest day and longest night. It usually happens in the middle of winter, right around December 25th. It's a celebration of the sun because after the winter solstice, the sun shines longer each day until we hit the summer solstice in June. Then we have the longest day followed by nights getting longer and longer until we hit the winter solstice and start the cycle all over again. I thought Christmas was Jesus' born day. Well, like I said, it's a celebration of the sun. They call Jesus the son of man because our sun shining in the sky every day gives us life. In a way, the sun saves us every morning that it rises, but in the solstice, they celebrate the beginning of the sun shining longer each day. That's why they say it's Jesus' born day. The name Jesus is actually a combination of two words, Jupiter and Zeus, the war god mixed with the war planet. So the guy we call Jesus is really just the sun in the sky? Indeed, shorty. He's not real? There was a guy that lived around 2,000 years ago that did some beautiful works, but his name wasn't Jesus. Who was he? He was a cat from the Middle East who was traveling around Egypt. He was a so-called black man named Yeshua. He wanted people to rise up out of hate and jealousy. He was a social reformer and a rebel. He stood for the people, much like Che Guevara, Bob Marley, and Malcolm X. So Jesus isn't white? How could he be? He's from the desert, and his name is Yeshua. Jesus is referring to the stars and planets. It's actually a story designed to teach children about their place in the universe amongst the stars. Oh. And Yeshua's born day is in March. It's a shame people don't know what holiday they're really celebrating. Plus, Yeshua taught that you should give gifts every day, and they don't just have to be material items. What about Santa? Another fictional character. Remember the Albion King I told you about on Thanksgiving? Well, he created Santa in his own image, an homage to the spirit he looked up to. Remember this, he knows when you're awake and he knows when you're asleep. Only one being on this planet is in that position and it's not so-called God. If you take the N out of Santa and put it on the end, you get Satan. Add a clause and you have Satan claws. Whoa! Really, these are all creations of our collective mind. So the minute we want to go in a different direction and be out from a hateful world, we just have to collectively decide it. Right now, humanity is in love with chaos, so we have people thinking they need to give gifts on only a couple days of the year to make themselves feel better, really. Did you ever notice how crazy people get on Black Friday and all the days leading up to December 25th? That's like being evil all week and then going to church on Sunday. Sounds like something Yeshua would say. Well, even though Jesus is a story, people have brought about the reality. So the bringer of truth and the light will also be the bringer of pain and deceit. So as much as I am Yeshua, I am Satan until humanity decides to either embrace free will or dismiss it. You guys are also the Yeshuas and Satans of tomorrow. Everyone has their own choices to make. Nasty, you crazy.